Hello, I'm Vinny Esposito, co-owner of Split Second Sound, along with my wife, Diane. And welcome to the Charlotte Wedding Insider. This show will feature past, present, and future brides of Charlotte and other nearby areas where Split Second Sound is entertained, telling their amazing stories, extraordinary ideas and thoughts on decor, and showing off their beautiful weddings. And we will also be visiting some of the best wedding professionals here in Charlotte who are offering up their tips and their trends to all the engaged couples. Visit us at charlotteweddinginsider.com for more information and other additional scenes. If you're an engaged couple and have a great story or planning the ultimate wedding, write us at info at charlotteweddinginsider.com. Thank you and we hope you enjoy the show. Some know her as Lindsay Reagan Thorne and others by LRT, and her company name is Be Pretty. And we are here in the gorgeous, gorgeous Ritz Carlton Hotel, and she is sitting with her makeup model and hair model, Erin, um, who will be getting married. So, Lindsay, it's nice having you today. Thanks, Diane. Let me ask you first how long you have been doing hair and makeup. It has been about six years now, a little over six years. Six fun years. Six amazing years. Awesome. <laughs> And I see that you already started her found. I mean, her um, eyeshadow. That so, is correct. how did you pick the color that she has right now? First of all, it's really important to start with the eyes first because when a bride is doing a dramatic look, you can kind of see the fall off. So that's why everybody kind of questions why you start with the eyes first. Erin um, wants a semi-dramatic look for her wedding day, and her eyes are green. So I've kind of convinced her to go with a purple smoky eye. If you can go ahead and close, Erin, um, close your eyes for me. <laughs> You can kind of see a little bit of that plum, and I'm still blending, um, but it will just really make those green eyes pop. All right, Diane, so next up, I'm going to set her brows with a mascara brush, and one little trick is you just spray the brush first with a little bit of hairspray, and then we'll just comb them out. Again, this is a great tip. Great tip see, for every day I never day knew use. that either. Yeah. So now they are beautiful and ready to go. So now we're going to uh, move into her eyeliner and eyelashes. So Lindsay, um, say a bride has three or four bridesmaids and I'm assuming that you do the bride last so that, that she's fresh, but how long before she actually walks down for her ceremony? That is a great question, Diane. Um, it is, there's so much cl collaboration to determine that time that happens between the bride the planner, if the bride has a planner, the photographer and the videographer. Um, if the bride is doing a first look with her father or with her groom, or if she chooses to do pictures beforehand with her bridal party or the family, um, it's it's really hard to determine that time frame. I would say, on average, the bride is ready about two to three hours prior to her ceremony start time. And we always save the bride for last so that she's the absolute freshest. So I'm just simply taking my fingers and brushing through some of these curls to make them look a little more natural. So that is a beautiful look for a bride on wedding day. And it would be so easy to even bring this over to the side and do something oh, cascading right, down right, her right. shoulder or to even do some sort of beautiful chignon. Like, you really can do a bun. Do you have a headpiece? I do. Or anything? Oh, just put a veil Perfect. in. A veil. A veil. Mm -hmm. That'll be beautiful. You look so good. Thank you. you look beautiful. Do you want to go walk to the mirror and see? Sure. Okay. Well, thank you, LRT, or AKA <laughs> Lindsay Reagan Thorne. Be pretty. I really All appreciate days. your time. Well, thanks, girlfriend. With the Charlotte Wedding Insider on location at the Ritz Carlton with Erin. Thank you so very thank much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so thank much. You've heard the expression, a DJ can make or break an event. A DJ has a lot more responsibility than player music. Their job is to coordinate with the flow, the family, the important people that have parts to do in the wedding, and to make sure that it just flows one piece after another and just builds into a nice flowing production of a really good party. You ready to have some fun tonight? 
Yeah. Split Second Sound has a brand. It has a formula. We have a certain way that all of our DJs, pooling our talents together, have come up with a way to make a very smooth flowing event that actually builds energy. And that formula has given us a high success rate of every single event we do because it's not hit or miss. We go in there knowing exactly what it takes to make that event great. You know how important it is for the responsibility that we take when somebody says, can you DJ my wedding? Can you host my wedding? And it's really important to us to put everything we have into it for that one day, because you only get one shot at it. Here's to Leanne and Sutton. Our DJ is really passionate about it. They take ownership of the event. We actually call it a signature event because they put their name on it. But make some noise for our newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Ripley! We're able to do any type of event. Um, everything from the smallest to the smallest, with wedding parties being about 50, 60 family members being there, to like the major events, you know, with Vinny being the game day DJ the Carolina Panthers and watching that growth and success over the years, being able to be a part of NBA player weddings and those type of things, it's just a huge testament of the work that we put in and we treat every event the same with the hard work that we put into it. We are so thankful. We're thankful for a lot of things as our business has grown, the amazing reviews we get back from clients, uh, the referrals we get from vendors. Uh, we've been very fortunate to win like the Not Award five years in a row, uh, Wedding Wire. It, it makes us proud that people recognize the great job that we're doing. Charlotte Wedding Insider is here today at the Ritz-Carlton and we are here visiting with Kim Warner. Why don't you come on in and we will have a chat with her. Hi Kim. Hi Diane. Thank you for taking the time to see Charlotte Wedding Insider. Well thank you all for being here today and joining us. We're excited to share the Ritz-Carlton wedding planning experience with you today. Here in our design studio, our brides and grooms work hand in hand with our special events team to customize every detail of the wedding. In the tasting room, they meet with our culinary team to customize all of the details of the menu based upon their specific preferences. It's here that they will also meet with our pastry chef to custom design their wedding cake. And don't miss the red velvet, that's the best. If you can tell me for 2016, any current wedding trends in uh, cake design? Of course. Texture is something that we've been seeing a lot of. Um, it adds a lot of visual interest to your cake, which helps it become more of a statement piece in the room. So something like the ruffles on this will uh, definitely bring that trend into your cake. Something else that we've been seeing is having some metallic shimmer in your cake but keeping it just to one tier so it doesn't overwhelm the whole cake design. Something else we really like is having a grouping of some smaller cakes. So maybe two or three cakes about this size displayed at different heights. It'll bring, um, kind of make your own cake bar at your wedding. So it'll bring a lot of interest to the cake. And then something else we don't have displayed here is the naked cake. So it's having layers of the cake that are just slightly covered with buttercream so it's still exposed. Decorating it with some flowers, it gives it a really rustic, sophisticated feel. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. And I have to say, it does smell kind of good in here. It really does. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heidi. It's my pleasure. Heidi and her team custom design all of the wedding cakes for weddings taking place at the Ritz-Carlton, but Bar Coco can also design cakes for events taking place off property as well. So wedding cakes, birthday cakes, specialty cakes, um, kind of a one-stop shop for you. Did you know the design studio is not just about menu planning and cake design? We also incorporate an element of decor and tablescape design as well. Would you like to see our linen room? I would appreciate that too. Let's go. 
Included in the planning process, our brides and grooms can choose the color of linens and chairs that best suits their big day. We also offer a variety of options for upgrades, like linens, glassware, flatware, and china. By using these elements, our special events team can help custom design the look and feel of social celebrations taking place in the Ritz-Carlton Ballroom, the Urban Garden, or the more intimate Great Room and Den. And once the table is set and the menu is planned, it's time to start thinking about the honeymoon destination. The Ritz-Carlton offers a variety of great destinations for your first stay as husband and wife. Should you book a wedding with us during the months of July or August, you will be eligible for a five-night stay at the Ritz-Carlton Resort of your choice in the Caribbean, complete with airfare for two. And while you're staying with us in Charlotte, you'll enjoy the finest overnight accommodations for your wedding weekend. Let's go check it out. Here we are in the executive suite where our couples can enjoy the day getting ready with family and friends. This suite is complimentary for two nights with the Ritz-Carlton wedding package and also comes with an in-suite bridal brunch on the day of the wedding. And what better way to relax and unwind during the wedding weekend than with a trip to our spa and wellness center. The Ritz-Carlton offers a full service spa complete with massages, facials, body treatments, and a nail salon. Our guests can enjoy the tranquil relaxation lounge or the peaceful waters of the Aqua Lounge along with their treatments. Diane, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. This is the Charlotte Wedding Insider on location. We're here on a sunny day at the Foundation for the Carolinas, and we're going to talk to our bride and groom from Split Second Sound, John and Sarah, and we're also going to be doing um, a little chat with Kelly Martin, and she's going to give us some tips and trends. So stay tuned. We met at UNC Pembroke in 2009. Um, he was in a fraternity called Theta Xi, and I was a Zeta down there, and my maid of honor and roommate at the time was dating one of his fraternity brothers. So at his place, he had a little get together and texted John and told him there was going to be free beer. And so naturally, we were all there and he showed up and the rest is history. Layman's terms of frat party. <laughs> was it love at first sight? Or it was love was at it first like... dance. Love at first <laughs> dance. Love at first dance, uh -huh. for sure. For sure. <laughs> The rest is You got history. the moves, huh, John, oh, I guess? Oh, I got the moves. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't wait to see this. <laughs> what is your wedding date? It's coming up, isn't it? Very shortly? Yeah, it's one month from today, so it'll be, well, tomorrow, actually. Whoops. Um, it'll, <laughs> it's April 16th of 2016, so. And you did, you got your uh, engagement photos already? Mm -hmm. You had the, your session? Yeah. So how did that Thank come goodness. out? <laughs> <laughs> well, he. Truthfully. <laughs> what, John was a little bit out of his comfort zone I on know. that one. We um, went to Asheville. Rivka Fine Art Photography did our pictures for, for us, and she was amazing. And we had this beautiful backdrop of the mountains in Asheville, and we actually, at one point, were on a public overlook, so there's probably about 40 to 50 people watching us climb over. It was like a stone guard railing, and we're on the edge of this mountain, and the wind's blowing, and it made for a great picture. But if you could only imagine the... Yeah, the picture came <laughs> out looking okay, I guess, but the <laughs> effort that went into it was something else. What are you looking forward to the most about the, the wedding coming up? Come on, John. Just getting all our family and friends together. When when we get together as a family, it's a big party. That's That's really all it is. Great time cut loose. Have fun, good food's gonna be there, good drinks, so. And lots and lots I, of dancing. Lots and lots of dancing. Mm -hmm. Sarah, give me a bride's tip. 
Um, I would definitely say if it's in your budget, I would do a wedding planner. Kelly with Head Over Heels has been amazing for us. I'm a procrastinator to the T. I wait to the last minute to do everything. So even if it's not in your budget, get a book, get something to where it helps you focus on, okay, so this day I have to do my floor plan. This day I need to pay the florist. Or something just to keep you organized because if you don't, it gets so overwhelming and... I mean, it's a lot on your plate, especially if you're working full time and, you know, you have a lot going on. I mean, it's a, it's a second job. So, you know, if that would be my one thing. If you could do anything, definitely hire a wedding planner, whether it's day of coordinator, whether it's full term, you know, from start to finish, it, it would be worth every penny. And what about you, John? A good old groom's tip. 100% support the bride, <laughs> whatever she needs. <laughs> So one trend that we're seeing a lot of in 2016 is sequins, metallics, anything sparkly. It's making a huge comeback from the cake table making a statement to the linen to all of the guest tables being sparkly, golds, rose gold, champagnes, blushes, to even draping with, with sequins and metallic draping for the backdrop for the altar or just to define the reception space. So one of my brides worded it best, I think, when she said, I want to bring old Hollywood glam, but I want to introduce it to modern day glitz. And I think that's what it is with sparkle and sequence. Hi, welcome to Charlotte Wedding Insider, and we are here today on location visiting Ladies of Lineage, and we're here speaking with Natasha and Jodine. How are you? Very how well. are you? Good. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to see if we can find out how long you've been in business and, and how you came up with the name Ladies of Lineage. Absolutely. <laughs> so we originally started in 2009 as a high-end consignment bridal company called Lineage Bridal. We became referred to as the Ladies of Lineage the more our name Ooh. got out there. So we decided when we uh, dipped our toes into order-only showroom that we would put our names on the door. Awesome. Well, can we get started? And you can show us around um, different body types. Um, and I would love to see. Ah, I can't wait to see. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is Sydney. Yes, our mannequins have names. This is Sydney and this is Claudia. Um, Sydney is in a sheathy silk crepe gown, which you really have to have a body to showcase the gown properly. Um, it's going to be very fitted to the body. It has minimal structure to it, and it's meant to just kind of float away from that body and accentuate all the good parts. So something that's clean and simple like this, we can accessorize in many, many, many different ways. So today we dressed up for the occasion and put her in what I like to call the bridal lady tux. <laughs> um, and then for Miss Claudia here, um, right now we do have a lot of brides that are looking to kind of change up their look um, from ceremony to reception. So what we have quite a few of um, with one of our designers, Air Barcelona, is um, detachable skirts, detachable trains. So when you walk in, it's very kind of like just oh, breathtaking and gorgeous. And then for the reception, we like to drop the skirt and it's time to party. Yeah. So then having this just kind of little modified A-line that falls away from the body, then you can really kind of accessorize it, it with big chunky necklace or a big jeweled sash or keep it very simple and just party the night away. And so Diane, this is a really incredible design for you. Because why? Uh, because you're a petite. Short. Petite. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Petite. Okay. <laughs> so we have this really incredible crumb cutter neckline, cascades and this beautiful silk taffeta 
taffeta, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but the most important part is this is a little bit more of a drop waist. So it's gonna really cinch in that natural waist, elongate you. And then you have a little bit of a volume down here you can eat, drink, and be married in. So I'm guessing this is gonna go like above the weight, uh, above my belly button type. So this is a separate piece. You can have this as just a clean silhouette if you want to. Okay. We like to refer to this as your party piece. So during the reception, if you wanna throw this on, it just kinda of cinches that natural waist a little bit more and gotcha. really defines the waist. Mm -hmm. Cool. How far in advance do you need to um, order your, your dress or begin to shop? We like to say about six to eight months prior to. Um, most designers are gonna take three to six months for delivery time, and then we have to keep in mind alterations. Right. So two months typical for, for alteration. So a good eight month planning period for that dress. A great tip for our brides that we just always like to remind them is try not to do more than, go to more than two boutiques in one day. It can be overwhelming, and if, if you don't want to be too overwhelmed, it's really great just to kind of minimize the amount of boutiques. Another one is really if, you're, um, if you want the one-on-one -on -one personal service mm -hmm. and not the hustle and bustle of a Saturday, come in on a weekday. Bring a couple of your friends, and you get a little bit extra time in the boutique, and you don't feel as rushed or overwhelmed. And maybe a glass of champagne. We always love feeding our brides some champagne. Very cool. Well, thank you guys. I really You're do appreciate welcome. it. And this is Diane from Charlotte Wedding Insider on location signing off. Thank you. Hey, I'm Julie Staley. I'm the owner of Old South Studios. We capture weddings here in Charlotte. One tip I would offer to brides and grooms as they plan is really have an open discussion with your photographer about light. Light means everything in terms of a photograph, so the most important question you should ask is when does the sun set on your wedding day? If you're a bride that's getting married in the summer, you might have an 8.30 sunset or a 9 o'clock sunset, which is great because you're going to have daylight long after the ceremony, so that golden hour and all those beautiful sunset pictures wouldn't be too hard to achieve and work into the timeline. However, if you're a bride getting married between November and March, you're looking at some daylight savings hours, and if it sunsets at 5 o'clock, you're not going to get much um, after the ceremony. Let's say you have a five o'clock ceremony. When you come out, your guests and everything else from then on would be night photography and flash driven. So you need to talk to your photographer and let them know what light you prefer and how to work the timeline backwards to really capitalize on the light you love and create images that you're just going to enjoy for the rest of your life. This day forward. From this day forward. This part. Here too I pledge you my faithfulness. Here too I pledge you my faithfulness. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed.
a split-second sound couple and are interested in appearing on a future show, all you have to do is write to us at info at charlotteweddinginsider.com with your personal story of how you met and became engaged. Please enclose a picture and we will contact you. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for behind the scenes and to keep up with the show in case you missed it. Thank you for watching.